Hi students, today we're going to be entering our unit two, lesson eight, the chapter that is titled The Success of the Tenochtitlan." So as we continue to go um, lesson eight, I mean lesson seven, the previous um, chapter, we were introduced and beginning to learn about the Aztec Empire. So remember, boys and girls, we're going to be learning about the Maya, the Aztec, and the Inca. And so we previously, at the beginning of our unit, we learned about the Maya civilization. Now we are on the Aztec civilization, and we're focusing on the capital and the success of the uh, Tichochitan, which is the was the chap capital of the Aztec Empire. So, um, on this the the first slide or the presentation, I attached some pictures just for you to see an um, example of what the Tichochitan looked like years ago. Um, during that during the um, Aztec Empire. So today we're going to begin with our reading and it is about um, so our focus today is students will summarize how the city of Chichon Chican was organized and identify and identify factors that led to the success of the Aztec capital. So um, boys and girls I might not keep saying Chichon Chican because it's kind of a tongue twister so if I say the city of T that's what I mean um, and it was the capital and um, the successful capital of the Aztec civilization. So that's what we're going to be reading about today in our reading lesson. Um, so again, boys and girls, every time that we have a reading, we have a reading lesson, we're going to always have a big question. So our big question is what we're going to be focusing on or we're going to try to figure out by the time we finish our reading. Um, so our big question for lesson eight would be what factors led to the success of the Aztec capital T? So we know that it's successful. Um, it was successful because the chapter is titled the success of the capital, but we're going to figure out what factors led to the success. Um, so as I said, like we're going to think about this question throughout our reading and by the end or the conclusion of our reading lesson, we'll be able to answer it. So keep this question on your mind. So let's begin reading. So we're going to first start um, reading at the beginning of chapter five, which is page 32 and your reader so boys and girls even here I attach a link so that you make sure even after you watch this video you can go back and begin to read it for yourself um, and again as we're reading make sure that you keep that big question that we just went over on your minds so so let's begin. So it says the Aztec city on the water's edge. Have you have you heard of Mexico City? Do you know that this modern capital of Mexico was built on top of another city? If you visit Mexico City today, you can see archaeologists at work. They are busy uncovering the ancient city of Chichon Chican. Chichon Chican was the city of the Aztec Empire in the 1300s and 1400s. This empire existed more than 500 years after the Maya abandoned their great inland city-states. City the ancestors of the people now known as the Aztec migrated from the north. By 1325 CE, they had settled in the Valley of Mexico. Other people had lived in Mexico's Fertile Valley for thousands of years before the Aztec arrived. Many groups were competing for space. The Aztec had several temporary homes, all of which they were eventually forced to leave. The land the Aztec finally claimed may seem an unlikely choice. Two swampy inlands in the middle of Lake Texcoquico. Texaco or Texacoco. I think that's how you pronounce it, boys and girls. But again, um, swampy, as we um, discussed in lesson seven, is one of our vocabulary words. It's at the bottom. So we're going to, um, our question to ask after reading this page is how many groups were competing for space in Mexico's Fertile Valley? Why might this be competing to live in this particular place? So we're going to pick back up with this question and stop right here, boys and girls.